Hello, we are Krishna and Corinne from CK Performance Clinics and welcome back to our CK Essentials. The back roll, the beautiful back roll, such a desirable move, admired and feared in equal measure. It looks good, feels amazing and it will open the door to a whole new world. Learning to backroll requires a good dose of dedication and commitment. If you've never rotated before, throwing yourself around can be a scary prospect. And with so much information out there, it can be difficult to know where you should begin. As such, in this video, we're going to give you a plan on how to attack this wonderful move. Starting by unravelling some backroll myths before guiding you through the action and hopefully painting a clearer picture of what's involved. Essentially, the aim of this video is to give you not only the mechanics of the move, but also the understanding so that you can think about it, digest it and ultimately have a go. The conditions you choose for your first attempt will have a massive impact on the outcome. Ideally, lightly powered, flattish water and preferably a biggish kite so that you're confident and comfortable enough to give it a whirl. And last word of advice? Make sure the water's deep and the coast is clear. First things first, what is a back roll? The name itself can be misleading. There's not much back about it, nothing inverted and no whiff of a backflip. Rather think of it as a vertical 360 spin under your kite. Understanding the direction you rotate in is important. The best way to think of it is that you'll be carving up into wind, front shoulder leading and continuing around from there. We're going to guide you through the back roll as a small jump, using the kite a little for lift and float. This way you'll be in a better position to control your kite, you'll have a bit more time to coordinate things. And it will prove to be an excellent foundation for all things back roll. It's easy to succumb to the temptation of curling up into a ball and rolling back in an effort to rotate as quickly as possible. Beware, this can encourage you to spin out of control. In fact, we're after the exact opposite. There are three key elements in a back roll, rotation, extension and head. They're all equally as important. The rotation of the torso comes first, Rotating the torso gives you the rotation, turning your shoulders, twisting your trunk to rotate upwind. Your hands rotate with your torso, don't leave them behind. Then the extension, it gives you the impetus and the height, kicking and extending up and around. The third element is the head. It plays a vital role in finishing the job. Turning your head to focus on your landing prevents you from getting stuck. This is a list of must-dos to make the back roll a reality. For your first attempts, you only want a small jump. A short, sharp sand is enough to get you off the water and the kite up to 12 o'clock. Ease the bar out as the kite lifts so that you can hold your edge, keeping your legs stiff and your bum low. By easing the bar out, the board will turn more upwind, setting things in motion. Leveling your bar is crucial. It's something you have to do before takeoff. This way you know that the kite will be waiting around 12 o'clock as you rotate. As you edge and resist the pull from the kite, try to keep your shoulders parallel with the water. This helps prevent you from rolling back into your takeoff and ultimately leaning onto your back hand. This is the last piece of the jigsaw before we bring it all together. You need to set your jump in motion first, sanding the kite, easing the bar out and leveling it off. Get everything sorted, kite at 12 o'clock, boom. There's no rush, you've got time. Next, rotate your torso and extend up off your edge to initiate your back roll. And only then can you pull on the bar, making sure it stays level. 
Approach on a good upwind edge, kite around 11 or 1 o'clock, hand centered on the bar. Give the kite a short sharp send, ease the bar out and level it. Lower your bum to keep edging and resist the pull from the kite whilst keeping your rear leg stiff. Start rotating your trunk upwind, bringing your hands with you. Explode of your rear leg, kicking yourself up off the water. Pull the bar in, making sure it stays level. Bring your knees up, keep turning and rotating your torso. Turn your head to spot your landing. Steer the kite forward a tad and drop your legs underneath you. Land over the board, tail first. Once you're settled, untwist your bar, front hand pushing away. Brilliant! Although pulling the bar in on takeoff is common procedure in a jump, if you pull too early in a back roll, it will kill your rotation. Make sure to set your back roll in motion first. Center your hands on the bar, thumb distance out. This will slow any unwanted kite movement. If you feel you're rotating slowly, this is a good thing. As long as the kite is hovering at 12 o'clock, turn your head to finish the job. If it's your first rotation, things can get a little disorientating. Do make a mental note of which is your front hand so you can use it to redirect the kite for landing. If you were to think of only two things, levelling your bar and rotating your torso are gold. There you have it, the back roll. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and share. See you next time.